The town of Kearney sits in an amazing location. We are centrally located between Manhattan and Essex County, which provides its residents easy access to great job opportunities, a host of museums, theater, musical performances. It's a great place to live. And as I'm sure most of our young people will tell you, it's a great place to grow up. But living here and being in somewhat in the path of the flights landing at Newark Airport or taking off from Newark Airport, anyone who's lived here knows what it's like to hear those planes, particularly at one o'clock in the morning when it's really quiet and the landing pattern is here. Back in 2000, there was a program put out by the Port Authority for noise abatement in school districts where the flight patterns of the planes go over the schools. In research, we found out that we were eligible. We did acoustical testing around that time. The schools came in within the decibel levels. That being a process, we started doing the paperwork. Then there was an agreement with the Port Authority and ourselves. The biggest undertaking was the high school project. That included the south building and the north building. Windows, heating, air condition. Also, the addition. In the north building, we had an old area that housed the pool. What we were going to do was demolish that area and build five stories up. The demolition work in the high school had begun. And being housed in the high school, I saw firsthand how that initial demolition impacted the staff. They were working in less than ideal conditions, and yet they were all teaching it to their very best of their abilities. And then the next thing that happened was the project stopped. Patty Blood becomes superintendent of the school. One of the first things Patty Blood did was get this project up and going again. When I became the acting superintendent in 2014, the board and I discussed that one of the biggest priorities was the completion of that project. And I was determined that during my tenure as superintendent, the project would be completed. Thankfully, the board hired a new architect and knowing what had been completed and what still needed to be done, um, some hard decisions had to be made. Um, among them were the scaling down of the project, what was originally designed as a four-story atrium and a fifth floor on the media center. Um, a lot of niceties, if you will, had to be eliminated in order to keep the cost within the budget of the monies available through the SDA and the FAA. Port Authority. Patty Blood said, how can we keep the educational spaces in the building, cut the project back, and still get what we need for education? That was a tough feat. She made it fit with the money we had. The atrium was lowered to two, two stories. It is still breathtaking. The first time someone walks in who remembers the old Corny High School, they are definitely moved by the dramatic effect of the atrium ceiling, of the beautiful lighting fixtures. When you look up, you see the new construction on one side and the old building on the other side. A beautiful new constructed four-story building with 18 outstanding educational instructional spaces. And we have given some tours of the building um, when classes have had reunions, and no matter who comes through the building, they are awestruck. Coming into that atrium and being served dinner by our culinary chefs, um, and it was just an amazing thing. And so many people commented on how beautiful the facility was. And it is, it's very dramatic with the hanging red chandeliers 
and opening to our cafeteria on one side and being able to view the kitchens on the other side through the, the windows where our students prepared their meals. Um, I think it was a really exciting event, um, not just for us as a school community, but for the entire community of Corny. And at the beginning of the 17-18 school year, we opened the new section of the building. And although we still had trailers outside and there were still some inside rooms that were being finished, the fact remained, we had new floors, new lighting, 18 brand new classrooms. Um, it was a really exciting time for the staff at Corning High School because now what they had lived through for really 14 years was coming to completion. It was just so exciting to see the trailers being taken away and being able to see the front of Corning High School again. And I think for the community, having it restored to its beautiful um, exterior and an interior means so very much.